Hello everyone, welcome back to our video lesson. Now let's have quarter 4, module 6, uh, for sign 7, the reason for the seasons. Simula natin sa what I know, so ipa-flash ko lang ang mga answers. Kayo na pong bahala, mag-pause sa ating video lesson. Okay, so lesson 1 is all about seasons. So, Ito rin po ang answer natin sa what's in portion. Arctic Circle, Equator, then Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer, Antarctic Circle. Then we have here the true, true, false, false, true. For the what's new, so we have here the four seasons. So for spring, so ito lang yung mga palatandaan natin. Trees and plants start to grow. Many animals have their babies in spring. Then summer, fruit grows on trees and plants and young animals grow bigger and stronger. For autumn, we have leaves change color and fall from the trees. And during winter, it's called hibernation kasi nga malamig. And itong ibang animals find places to hide and sleep. So, there is lots of snow during this season and plants and trees stop growing. And for activity 1, and we have here our answers. Pakipos lang nitong video. And yes, what is it? As Earth orbits the Sun, it maintains its 23.5 degrees tilt on its axis. Among the obvious effects of this tilting is the way the sun's rays are focused on places on Earth, which brings about the changes in seasons on Earth. Countries located 23.5 degrees to 66.5 degrees north and south latitudes experience four seasons, so spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So, yung naka, nasa temperate regions. So, they experience this four seasons tayong nandito sa tropical region region we will just experience the two seasons kapag medyo maulan talagi we call it wet season and kapag medyo madalang yang lang yung ulan we call it the dry season all right so kapag po during December 21 to 22 or 22, winter po sa north of the equator and summer of the south of the equator. So, the sun shines directly on the southern hemisphere, tilted toward the southern hemisphere po yung ating um, sun. I mean, earth is... Uh, yung southern hemisphere po niya, yung tilted toward the south, the sun. So, yung northern hemisphere niya is indirectly hit by the sun. So, they will just experience um, winter. Winter? Yes, winter. And for the uh, south, it's summer. Sa so March naman, spring sa north. Autumn naman sa south. So, the sun shines equally in the southern and northern hemisphere during this spring season. Sa June naman, summer sa north of the equator, winter sa south of the equator. Kasi nga, yung northern hemisphere ang tilted toward the sun. So, yung southern hemisphere po ang maka-experience ng winter. During September naman, the sun shines equally on the southern and northern hemisphere, autumn sa north, and spring sa south. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Seasons in the Philippines can be described into two only, and like in the uh, temperate region, here in the tropical region, we'll just have tropical climate. And we have two seasons, the dry season kapag seldom lang yung rain and wet season kapag palagi nag um, nag-uulan po. What's more? So Okay. 
Okay. Kayo na lang po mag-answer dyan. But I have learned na tayo. So, ito yung mga answers natin sa what I have learned. Pakipost na lang itong video. And what I can do kayo na lang din po ang bahala. Assessment. So, during which season do the leaves change color and fall off the trees? It's autumn. How often does the earth orbit the sun? Every 365 days. Which pole is pointed toward the sun when the northern hemisphere is experiencing winter? So, it's south pole. What is the result of earth's tilt? Seasons. What is the shape of the earth's orbit around the sun? Elliptical, slightly oval. The Earth is a tilted planet. What is the degree of tilt? 23.5 degrees. What does rotation mean? An object spinning on its axis. What are the names of the days when day and night are of equal duration? So that's vernal equinox and autumnal equinox. What does revolution mean? It means an object moving around another object. It is the reason that causes the length of daylight to change. It depends on the tilt of the Earth as it moves around the sun. Which of the following best describe the tilt of the earth during the spring and fall equinoxes? So the earth is tilted neither toward or away from the sun. 12. Which of the following best describes the tilt of the earth when it is summer in the southern hemisphere? The earth is tilted away. No. Best describes the tilt of the earth when it is summer in the southern hemisphere. Kapag ka summer ang... Southern Hemisphere. The Earth is tilted. Summer Southern Man Hemisphere. Maybe the the Earth is tilted away from the Sun. It could be the North is tilted away from the Sun. Because si ano si South yo tilted towards the sun. Which diagram shows the elimination of the earth in North Pole during the first day of summer? It's letter A. While Anna is enjoying her summer vacation, she noticed that during summer, the sunrise is earlier in the morning compared to other months of the year. Can Anna enjoy longer daytime during summer compared to any other months of the year? Yes, because during summer, the sun rises early and it sets late. Why do seasons change? Seasons change because the Earth's axis is tilted and always pointed in the same direction. And itong sa additional activities, kayo na rin lang po ang bahala. So that ends our Module 6 video lesson. See you sa Module 7. Bye-bye!